Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working on a forward edge, guys. And what we'll be doing here, actually, we'll apply to Linky and MKX as well, guys, because both of them share the same platform and many of the parts and components are interchangeable, guys. In today's video, we'll show you guys if you need and remove, uh, if you need to remove and replace quark spring, guys, uh, airbag quark spring, stay with us and we'll explain how to do that. The procedure is not very complicated. Uh, but you have to be extremely careful because it's part of the airbag system and if you're not careful guys airbags can kill you So consider this entertaining video not a how-to video guys quick introduction every single car we get at the shop Including this generation forward edge guys. We make at least 200 videos Why because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can So please guys subscribe to the channel like the video and hopefully you will find the information helpful If you guys need to buy replacement parts tools anything like that check out the link in the description of the video below there guys Okay, and you can see where we get everything from for the shop and you can see guys, okay uh, uh, If you need to buy replacement parts where you can get them for a good price. So this is guys right here Okay, this is the quark spring. That's what it looks like uh, these devices guys behind the steering wheel and what it does it actually transfers the information Okay, the communication uh, From the steering column wires to the steering wheel and it allows to turn so Stay with us guys and we'll show you how to do that now. First guys, what we need to do, we need to disconnect the car battery for at least one hour before we guys mess with the airbags or anything like that. Why? Because that way, okay, the system will discharge and uh, okay, it's something, the chance for something terribly bad to happen, it's less likely, but it still could happen. So if you guys are not qualified and certified to work on airbags, don't do it. Consider this entertaining video and other how-to video guys. So. Now, we're going to disconnect the car battery by using a 10 millimeter, okay, 10 millimeter socket and you're going to disconnect, okay, the negative terminal first. Always use gloves, guys, okay, always because uh, you have battery acid and stuff and you don't want that to be on your skin. So, negative cable is disconnected, we're going to actually go ahead and put a towel or something in a little bit so it doesn't touch, make sure under each one of them. Then, second, you disconnect, guys, the positive. First the negative, second the positive. Okay, perfect. Make sure it's not touching anywhere, guys. Okay, make sure that everything is uh, insulated really good. That way, guys, okay, things will not go bad. Now we'll wait one hour and we're going to continue, guys. So we'll just go ahead and put, place this one on the negative terminal, guys. Okay, we have one towel. Why? Because we want to avoid, okay, accidental contact. So we'll just go ahead and, okay, place it like that so it's not touching or anything at all. Now, uh, we'll wait one hour and we'll continue. Next, guys, we need to go ahead and go inside. Let me show you what we'll be doing here. Okay, we need to get a thin metal to something. Uh, okay, let me focus because... Uh, it's a little bit black, so it's hard to show you okay, exactly what it is. Perfect, like that. Uh, the thinner, the better. You can use even a hanger, guys. And if you bring your steering wheel, okay, uh, to about right here, guys, you, you can just have it flat, straight. And uh, there is a hole here, okay, that what I'm going to do, I will just go ahead and get that thing in. Okay, there is a metal clip. Now push in. Push in and pull a little bit, okay, on this side, but be careful. Now what I'll do, I'll turn the steering wheel and bring it, okay, on this side. And we're going to do the same thing on this side now. Let me show you. One here. Okay, perfect. Now, what I'll do, I'll bring the steering wheel back so I can show you, but you don't have to. Okay, and here guys, we're going to pull the airbag, gently, careful guys, okay, not to explode anything. Now, those are the two connectors, okay, that we need to disconnect, and uh, let me, okay, let me see exactly how those things work, because all of them are different, guys. So let me show you now, guys, never ever use metal tools, okay, never do what I do here. But uh, we'll actually go ahead and use this small screwdriver. Extremely careful, there is one spot where you can get under that plastic. Okay, but black plastic, okay, and pull it out. We have one now on this side, guys. Okay, on the yellow one, check it out. 
perfect once you guys do all that okay let me show you now you grab it okay pull them out gently okay that airbag can kill you guys now airbag when you store them guys okay from what i read you have to put them that way not upside down always avoid having people around it because those things can explode guys you can see just like that so now guys for the steering wheel 18 millimeter socket guys and we need to go ahead and remove that nut some people recommend to replace that nut every time you remove it so grab the steering wheel and just get it loose guys okay this is a self-locking nut so what that means it means guys that he has that plastic retainer that actually prevents the nut from getting loose from vibrations so uh, always inspect things guys okay because you don't want something terrible to happen guys this is the nut right here that's what it looks like i don't see any thread locker sometimes you can see thread locker here guys you can see how the steering wheel is marked okay the shaft has a mark okay i'm just trying to focus here a little bit shaft has a mark and mark on the steering wheel as well those two need to match later when you install it now you have to gently pull it out why because we have to feed the cables out and we need to disconnect the cables guys okay right here let me show you for the steering controls okay so if i squish right here i'll show you this is guys the connector right there okay so what i did i push that thing in and pull it out now gently guys grab that steering wheel okay it may be stuck guys it may be stuck because uh, okay let me grab it with two hands at the same time see if that will do it now okay it's coming loose perfect gently pull the airbag wires out not to damage anything steering wheel is out you can see just like that guys so it's removed and it's out of the way so once we remove the steering wheel we can continue with the next step right here guys you have two screws and one on this side okay over here that we need to actually uh, remove okay the one i think right here is okay over there okay in that hole so let me see if i can if i can get it yep somehow i did it for the first time i don't know how guys this is the screw right there now we have one uh, two more second screw coming out now we have a third one here now it will be the last one that will always give me hard time Well, I thought it came out. And then it stopped. Okay, perfect. This one is out too, guys. So let's focus now right here. I'm going to show you what we'll do here. We need to pull the key out. Okay, pull the key out. Just like that. Now, guys, we need to get a plastic panel removal too. Okay, let me... Okay, let me find one or a, a screwdriver. Something like that. And we need to separate these two pieces okay i need to open the steering wheel handle here they have a few clips that hold in place come around the key separate like that guys okay and this cover comes out this one comes out okay you can see just like that uh, those actually they were not even holding to each other the only thing holding its clips but the screws were not holding the top to the bottom cover now let me show you what else we need to do here guys the cork spring guys super important okay not to turn it after that point get a torx 20 start looking bit and remove three screws guys okay check it out one two here okay before i remove the third one let me disconnect the wire okay how right here we press in and we pull it out now number three is right here on the bottom guys grab gently that cork spring well number three is not need to be removed guys number three is actually okay it stays here 
so we just have two that we need to remove for the quark spring and you can see guys that quark spring now is out of here as you can see just like that guys so that's how you guys remove the quark spring if you need to replace it we'll have the links in the description of the video below where you can purchase a new one from thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time